What does the Bible say about criticism? Before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all new videos. Here are some scriptures taken directly from the Bible to help you understand God's perspective on criticism. Criticism can be destructive. The Bible states in Galatians 5 and 15, if you keep on biting and devouring each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. Criticism of others often covers the need of self-criticism. The Bible states in Matthew 7, 1 through 5, don't criticize and then you won't be criticized for others will treat you how you treat them. And why worry about a speck in the eye of a brother when you have a board in your own? Should you say, friend, let me help you get that speck out of your eye when you can't even see because you have a board in your own? Hypocrite. First get rid of the board, then you can see to help your brother. Willingness to forgive is a part of constructive criticism. The Bible states in Luke 17 and 3, So watch yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. Those who give it, get it. The Bible states in Luke 37 and 38, Never criticize or condemn, or it will come back on you. Go easy on others, then they will do the same for you. For if you give, you will get. Christians will wisely learn from valid constructive criticism. The Bible states in Proverbs 9, 8 and 9, If you rebuke a mocker, you will only get a smart retort yes he will snare at you so don't bother with him he will only hate you for trying to help him but a wise man when rebuked will love you all the more teach a wise man and he will be wiser teach a good man and he will learn more the best protection against criticism is a clear conscience the bible states in first peter 3 and 16 keep a clear conscience so those who speak malicely against your good behavior in christ may be ashamed of their slander 